Hello friends and welcome to Ghostwatch. Today we'll be reacting to some paranormal compilation video by Mind Junkie. And his video is called 7 Scary Ghost Videos That Will Have You Checking Behind Every Door. Without further ado, let's check it out. Like right now. A user named Larry uploaded the following clip to Reddit after recording something strange at a Starbucks drive through in Mishawaka, Indiana. While Mishawaka. sitting in his Tesla, Larry's guidance camera picks up something. The Tesla thinks there's somebody on a bike next to me. But there's nobody there. I'm going to drive through at Starbucks. The biker is picked no up bike by at the all, Tesla, no. but Where? when Larry looks around, there's no biker. Oh, sh ah, he's Nobody looking. There. Is this his car? Or is it the one? This must be his car, yeah? Because there's a car right in front of him. But there's no effing bike, man. Anyway, there. What? <laughs> now it's gone. And it's back. <laughs> oh, now it's supposed to be up there. What? That must be a... Uh... A glitch on, in, uh, well, in the computer, like huh? in his Tesla. Not only can a biker be seen on the Tesla camera, weirdly, it appears to change position. But where is it? The next day, Larry returns to the exact same. There must be a mistake by his computer. Right? Same location and records a follow up video. And the bike is still there. No, it's not. Same Starbucks. And no bike. Same Starbucks. It's like, I don't know, seven in the morning. On Friday. Yeah. No ghost. This time, nothing is picked up by the Tesla. So yeah. that leaves us with the burning question. Just who or what? Did the Tesla camera pick up the day yeah, before? That's just a mistake Redditors and viewers computer. have been debating in the comments. Do you guys know anything about Tesla? <clears throat> Is this maybe a common problem? I don't know. I've never driven a Tesla. Have you? Section. Some speculate that perhaps this may just be a glitch yeah. in Tesla's technology. Exactly. However, many lean towards it being the ghost of a cyclist who had been in a terrible accident. Nah. But what do you think this is? Ghostly biker or a software glitch? Let me know down below. Definitely if you're a think fan it's of scary a videos, make sure you subscribe yeah. and hit the bell icon Do so it you now. don't miss any future uploads. I also upload these reaction videos every day. So if you like it, please consider leaving a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode. This next clip was uploaded to the internet by a user named Vivi Hurtado72. And the title of the video when translated from Spanish to English reads Ghost at the IMSS Hospital in Manzanillo, Colima, November 2020. Let's check On it a out. quiet night in this Mexican hospital, known for its eerie atmosphere, the person filming had an urgent need to cross to the far end of the hospital to the supposedly haunted Clinic 10. Alone and navigating through empty corridors, they approached the ward shrouded in darkness. What they captured next left them frightened let's check it out oh did you see it there's someone lurking here right no maybe not did you yeah. see it what if the we enhance that the face? video and zoom right in what looks like the face of someone or something can be seen peeking out from behind a wall. The what? face is pale and oddly quite blurry, Who leaving the viewers F to believe you, that man? this is a ghost of a former patient of the hospital. There have been whispers. He should have run around the corner and have a look inside. It could be one of his friends, you know, with white makeup in his face and rumors of a spectral entity haunting clinic 10 for years yet right. no tangible evidence had been captured until now nonetheless their skepticism around the video with some suggesting that this video is staged for views yeah, but what do you think, think this so is too. is it the face of a ghost 
or a no. well orchestrated prank or illusion, let me know. It's not even well orchestrated. It's a friend with white makeup in his face, standing there. We should have run around the corner and have a look inside. Yeah. Alexa, take picture. Raphael Ferpa, adventurer, sets out on a solo adventure of an abandoned school located in Joinville, southern Brazil. The abandoned school is said to be haunted by the spirits of former pupils. Although the ghosts are supposed to be harmless, Raphael becomes intrigued as to why there are so many of them trapped in the same area. After setting up his Alexa camera in motion detector and a door suddenly moving on its own, Raphael tries to make contact with whoever or whatever is there. Then, a short while later, Alexa alerts Raphael that it has detected something close by and Raphael decides to snap some pictures. What he captures has left him and his viewers spooked. Let's check it out. Is an orb? Orbs? Orbs don't spook me that much, you know? They don't freak me out. Like shadow creeps. <clears throat> Orbs seem so harmless, you know. Okay. This could look like a body and head. It's on long ass arms and dark legs. Paradolia? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, that's a proper shadow creep. Or could that be oh, one of... Or could that be one of their shadows? Now someone could be standing behind him and and have some light this way, right? Because it could look like he has his arm here, holding his camera, you know? Orbs can be seen in one of the photos taken by Raphael, but then, snapped in a second photo, a mysterious translucent figure can be seen, and then, in another photo, a dark figure is caught on camera. Raphael so shadow continues creep. on with his exploration and ends up capturing this. Come on, I want something more convincing. What child is he talking about? Is he an angel pulling a boy? What? 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 It's completely translucent though. But I don't see... I see some legs, you know? Looks like child legs. But how... How does he see an angel pulling a boy, you know? This is definitely something. This looks paranormal though. Caught on camera, a mysterious apparition manifests and can be seen standing right in front of Raphael for a brief moment before it fades away into the darkness. Then, snapped oh. by Raphael's Alexa camera placed in another part of the building, another apparition is caught on camera. Raphael believes that this particular capture shows, quote, an angel saving a boy. And I guess it does. This part is the angel and this part looks like a small boy with I do, his arms in the air. I do see the boy, but <laughs> why is this an angel? You know? Ah, because wings, maybe. And the head and body, maybe, yeah. I see it now. But is it Pradolia? Because I, because they told me to see that. 
Raphael's Maybe. viewers believe that he caught the real deal while at this abandoned school, a real ghost caught on camera, and many state just how incredible this particular capture of the angel yeah, saving that a one boy looks amazing. is. But what's your verdict? Did Raphael That's capture an amazing evidence photo. of ghost at this old abandoned school? Let me know what you think. Spirits of the Ritz Theatre Paranormal investigators Steve, Erica, Lara, Chelsea, Brett and EMF specialist Susie from the Ghost Hunting Channel, The Broken Wings Paranormal Accompanied by I psychic heard medium about them Laura, before. visit the old Ritz Theatre located in Torelli, Utah, in an attempt to contact any spirits inside. The theatre was built in 1899 and was initially used as a dry goods store and later a boarding house before it officially closed its doors in 1988. The theatre is said to be haunted by several ghosts, including the spirit of projectionist, Joe Montgomery, who passed away from natural causes in the projection room. Steve says the last time some of the crew visited the Ritz a year and a half ago, they witnessed shadow figures as well oh. as other supernatural shadow phenomena. Creeps. For the first part of the video, the Broken Wings paranormal team explore Theatre One and attempt to make contact with anything that could be in there. Then afterwards, Laura, Chelsea and Susie explore the projection room where they feel the atmosphere take an eerie turn. And psychic medium Laura confirms that tragedy had occurred in there, presumably the passing of projectionist Joe Montgomery. After meeting back up with the rest of the ghost hunting team, the crew set up a spirit box on the main stage of the theatre. Steve, Brett, Erica and Chelsea sit in the front row of the theatre, while Susie and Laura Laura sit further back from the rest of the crew and it doesn't take long for whoever or whatever is there to communicate with them. Blow me. <laughs> it's dead blow me. Ah. That's a proper orb flying around. Blow me. Blow me. It's dead blow me. Wow. Look at that orb. It has a trail behind it as well. All jokes aside, if you look to the back of the theatre, a glowing white orb can be yeah. seen floating around above the team of investigators who don't see it. Broken then Wings it Paranormal disappears. decide to move to Theatre 2, where Steve and Medium Laura sense the presence of an unfriendly spirit. Later, EMF specialist Susie decides to stay alone in a back room with her EMF equipment on in an attempt to mediate contact between Steve and the spirit. You need to answer us. I've told the best boy. Who is the best boy? Oh my god, something just stroked my goddamn hair. Are you sure you didn't hit that extension cord? No. I've Let's see it again. The best boy. Who is the best wow, her head oh. her hair is definitely moving. Erica is creeped out after something touches her hair. A what? few months later, Broken Wings Paranormal return to the Ritz Theatre. This time, familiar faces Steve, Brett and Lara are accompanied mm. by paranormal investigators Andrea, Bell, and special guest Tim. Right before the crew begin to officially start recording their investigation, tiny, Tim. Static Camera 4, placed in Theatre 1, captures something. Before we even get started, a misty figure decides it's time to leave the theatre. What? As Steve says, a blurry, misty figure can be seen walking up one what? of the aisles. Granted, it's quite hard to see, Holy but if toaster, we enhance man. the footage, That's we can see that see. something does indeed move towards the exit. The group I'm gather at the here. front of the main stage, and their static cameras capture another mysterious phenomena. There are orbs all around, man. Look at the movement of that. That's not dust or anything. Another you know? faint thing is caught it's moving so fast. The group. But what is it? And even one of the team can be heard saying, What was that? 
as whatever this thing is floats above them. A little later, Brett decides to sit on the stage surrounded by lights, candles and several ghost hunting devices and tries to make contact. While blindfolded, Brett says he feels something coming closer. The group continue to make contact in Theatre 1 for some time and after 17 minutes, their static camera captures something which has left both Broken Wings paranormal and their viewers stunned. Just as we begin our portal session, you can clearly see we are all in the room. Ladon is sitting in the back of the theater. Watch the doorway on the right side in the back of the theater. You will see an apparition walk towards the bathrooms. And then just a few seconds later, you see the same apparition oh. walk back. This cannot be a person because as you can see in this still, a person has full features even in the back of the theater. Yeah. Amazingly enough, this was captured what? on both of the DVR cameras. It's on two different cameras as well. Holy toaster, man. Just a couple minutes later, watch the same doorway. You can clearly that see that must be proof of the paranormal. The theater. Right after the portal says, I'm coming up. Coming up something. I heard a slight yes. That's incredible footage, man, right? And then just a few seconds later, the music box is triggered in the projector room. While the paranormal investigators are at the front of the theater, several apparitions can be seen that's, moving back and forth in one of the doorways. That's effing weird, and, man. like Steve says, this right? can't be people as if it was then they'd appear just like they do in this still, again shown by Steve. But what makes this even more legit is that this was captured on two different yeah, cameras. Exactly. Then, a couple of minutes later, captured on the same cameras, several shadows can be seen moving in the same doorway that the is... apparitions were seen. Also, just seconds That's later, amazing, the Ghost Hunters music box triggers in the projector room, indicating that something we can't see moved right in front of it. Later in the video, the team's static camera placed in Theatre 2 captures something. At at this moment in theater two, you hear a snapping sound followed so by a series much activity of beeps in there, on the man. You then see something move away from the trash can up the aisle, setting off the music box. Again, just those floating shadows, you know? Unexplained sound is heard before the music box is triggered. But the weird thing is that that mist is flying this way, yeah? And I guess this is the music box. It should go off as they go closer, right? And then a blurry orb, which viewers believe is a spirit, is caught on camera floating away from the music box and up the aisle. Broken Wings Paranormal believe that they caught evidence of the paranormal in the Air Fryer. Theater, and their viewers agree. Especially these the are amount good of evidence, orbs captured no? in these mysterious blurry figures and shadows seen at the door does indeed these seem are good genuine. Evidence of the what paranormal. do you think? Did the Broken Wings paranormal team capture evidence of ghosts during their paranormal investigation? Drop a comment below with your thoughts on this one. Holy moly. A sign from that. Uploaded by a user named Sav, also known as Trying to Vibe 33, this clip has left viewers stunned. In the video, which was uploaded on the 4th of January this year, Sav and her mother can be seen celebrating on New Year's Eve alone in their home when something mysterious happens. <laughs> That's broken snow globe starts playing. That has not worked. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. No, it, it worked, but we just haven't. That has not. I have. I've twisted it. 
That has not worked. That's my dad's snow globe. Like, we designated that to, like, be my dad. <laughs> Is her dad passed away, or what? Did my junkie say that? I didn't hear it. <laughs> As Sav and her mother celebrate the new year, music from the snow globe begins to play. Incredibly, this snow globe was designated to Sav's dad and mysteriously was playing, even though it hasn't worked for a while due to being broken. Sav says that both she and her mom have full body chills every time they watch this video back. Wow. And that although she has seen a couple of signs from her dad, this one... Yeah, I thought since my dad passed that I've seen a couple signs, but this is definitely... So, her dad has passed away. What a timing, you know, that it just starts working as they are celebrating New Year's Eve. So is her dad, you know, telling them, hey, I'm here, right? during their new year's eve celebration is definitely wow. the strongest one the comment section under this video is filled with comments by people sharing their similar experiences as sav and top comment by a user named quill says your papa said happy new year so yeah. what's your interpretation of this mysterious occurrence could this be a sign that our departed loved ones linger with us even wow. after they've gone Use the comments to share your thoughts. Wow. Right? This next clip was shared a while back. It was uploaded by Lou Lear back in 2009 and has left viewers creeped out for years. At the start of the video, Lou Lear writes, Every night I used to close a door and each following morning it would be opened. One day, I was going to the kitchen when I saw some kind of face looking at me through the glass. I grabbed a camera, captured what you are about to see. This video is not modified in any way. Here's what Lule caught on camera. Let us be the judge of that. <laughs> There's nothing there. What? I saw it through the glass. Now it's gone. And it appeared. What? If it was there constantly, it could be uh, done by... But it just ap appears and disappears. What? There's no one there. Holy toaster, man. I got the chills, man. I got goosebumps. That's incredible, man. Wow. What looks like the face of someone or something can be seen pressed against the glass of the door. But when Lulia opens it, There's whatever no one there. was there has now disappeared. However, when he closes the door, the face appears again. And when Lulia reaches out moly. to touch the glass, the sound of something giggling can be heard but the figure disappears again. This video, which was uploaded over 13 years what? ago to YouTube, has left viewers spooked. Many believe that Lulia came face to face with a ghost. And what makes this even creepier is that this video is the very last That's video incredible. uploaded to Lulia's account. Nobody knows what happened to him, although... Sp oh, that child crying. I thought that was his kid or something, you know? Ghost child crying. I heard it clear as day. But I thought maybe it was his kid or something, you know, crying in his bedroom. Uploaded to Lulia's account. Nobody knows what happened to what? him. Although speculation is that perhaps whoever this is. And this looks is like the a child hand, his disappearance. You know? But what do you or think is going on here? I don't Did know. Lulia capture a ghost on camera as viewers believe? Let me know. I think so, yeah. 
Wow, man. The final video is another These are oldie some good but videos. Goldie. However, it hasn't been shown anywhere for a while, so I thought I'd feature it. The video was uploaded to YouTube back in 2008, and still, to this day, viewers believe it to be a genuine ghost sighting. The video is titled Ghost Face in Window of Jail and the uploader says in the description that he and a few friends spent about six hours at the old county jail which is no longer in use. His father is friends with the building's manager so he let them in. They were fooling around most of the time with a camera and wanted to film a parody of the sci-fi show Ghost Hunters. They had no intention of actually looking for ghosts. However, when they were editing the footage they found what looks like a face in a window and after watching the video it seems that that may be all right so we're in the phase of the investigation now where everybody breaks off in their own little areas with you know a handy cam and we're just sort of checking around to see if we can find anything on our own What's you know a handy cam and we're just sort of checking around to see if we can find anything on i our didn't own. see it and, uh, Maybe when he slows down. Hopefully, you know, each one of us finds our own evidence or our own portion. Did you spot it? No. If we slow the video down, yes, what appears to be the face of what viewers believe to be a ghost of a former prisoner can be seen up close oh. against one of the cell door windows. However, Holy can be macaroni, seen. man. You can see the eyes and the nose and the mouth. Up close against one of the cell door wow. windows. However, some believe the uploader staged the whole thing for views. But what do you Maybe. think? Maybe is this the face of a ghost of a former inmate, or was it all just it looks ghostly. For views? You tell me. Thank you so much for watching yeah. today's video. Thank you for if you're watching. If you a fan of scary content, make sure you check out either of these two videos here. And if yeah. you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe yeah. so you'll never miss any of our weekly uploads. Exactly what, what Mind Junkie said. I will also put some videos uh, or a playlist for all my paranormal reaction videos. And on the other side, there will be a recommended video. And if you click my portrait in the middle, you'll subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you all watching. Until next time, bye bye.